Hey guys, I'm April. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are making one of my all-time favorite desserts, rhubarb crisp, and I cannot wait to share it with you. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button and the bell. That way you'll get notified every time more recipes like this come out. Here's everything you're gonna need for this recipe. It's also gonna be listed in the description below. To get started, we're gonna heat our oven to 375. Rhubarb, kind of a weird looking, don't eat it raw. They're very bitter, but they're delicious when cooked into a crisp. What we're gonna do is just chop these bad boys up. I'm just gonna toss them right into our baking dish. Now, I'm used to finding it in the garden. It usually grows underneath all of our pine trees back home, but you'll find this in the produce section by all the lettuces and like the romaine lettuce and zucchini and that kind of an area. Sometimes it's tricky to find. Really, Mr. T? Maybe this is why I like it so much. It's covered in sugar. couple tablespoons of flour just on top. And by couple, I mean three. And you just kind of want to stir this till everything's evenly coated. And we're going to make the streusel topping. So we're going to mix together half cup of rolled oats. To a half cup of packed brown sugar. You just want to pack that in there good. And now a quarter cup of flour. And then nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. You can kind of do these as much or as little as you like. Just a little bit of ginger. You don't need a lot. Unless you like it, then you need a lot. And just give this a mix. A quarter cup of cold butter. You gotta make sure it's not too soft because you're gonna cut it into the oats and the sugars using a regular fork. And just kind of press into it until it turns into coarse crumbles. Looks like that with kind of just everything very roughly blended. You should still have some chunks of butter. You're just going to dump it right over top of the rhubarb. Move it out a little bit. You want to get sugar and butter on everything. You're gonna pop this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes until the fruit gets nice and tender and the top gets kind of nice and browned. All right guys, it's been about 35 minutes. Let's get this rhubarb out of the oven. It smells amazing. This looks so good. I wish you could smell it. You'll definitely want to let this cool a little bit, but serve it while it's still warm with some vanilla ice cream. Enjoy. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you make this at home, let me know how it turns out for you. I'd love to hear if you like it too. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you're always aware when I have new recipes and DIY projects coming out. Thanks again. Bye.